Hello, I'm Hayden. Hi, I'm Henry. And, and this, this is, is the Lion's Roar. Roar. Today's date is February 24th, 2023, and the end of the quarter is right around the corner. So you know what that means. Spring break? Nope, it means budget meetings about the next school year. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not that bad, Henry. We're going to learn a lot from this. Here's Hayden House and John Luke with the budget breakdown. Call to order the special meeting of the Board of Education for February 21st, 2023. This past Tuesday, the school board held a meeting to discuss budget cuts for the up and coming school year. One of the larger topics was the proposed increase of high school class sizes to 30 students per class. Jackson Green, a budget reporter, attended and live tweeted the important meeting. A special meeting was called by board president um, Shannon Kimball um, to get more information um, to the board about the potential plan before they vote on anything on Monday. The future planning committee made up of teachers, students, community members, and more were responsible for drafting the proposals. On the topic of increased class sizes, the committee was narrowly in favor 52 to 48 percent. The district is trying to save roughly $9 million in order to increase teacher salaries and replenish cash reserves. This proposal represents the largest potential savings for the district, which is approximately three to five million dollars. Teachers and students have expressed their concerns about how these proposals could affect classroom learning. Um, I think, you know, anytime you raise um, class size ratios, uh, the more kids I have in a classroom, the harder it is for me to check in with everybody, make sure everyone's doing well. Um, and I feel like that's kind of counterproductive um, for the education side of things. We keep hearing from the district that um, it's about students and it's about what's best for students and none of this is what's best for students. But as soon as there's a budgetary issue, um, apparently all that data, which they love, goes out the window. Students Finn Lombarker and Chloe Ladoni also shared their thoughts and feelings on the developing situation. Um, yeah, both journalism um, and uh, my other class that's pretty crowded is uh, AP Bio. Many of the solutions teachers have had have been like, can you transfer out? or just trying to have the seating as best as possible. I feel like for me personally, especially because I'm in a lot of art classes, that'll definitely make it so I'll specifically talk to the teacher because more people are going to need to talk to the teacher. So I'll have less time to like perfect my skills specifically. Ultimately, this proposal and others like it may have large effects on students and staff. Mr. Pruitt, a member of the Future Planning Committee, describes the hard truth that not everyone will be happy with the final decision. There are no like easy choices. I don't envy the board. Um, tough, tough decisions, and they're they're going to make somebody mad no matter what they do. There are going to be people that are angry, upset, hurt. Um, so I know they tried to have a process to get as much input. End of the day, somebody's going to walk away not happy with the decision. If you're interested in sharing your opinion on the increased class sizes or other topics discussed, make sure to attend, email, or watch the final deciding board meeting on Monday, February 27th. Help yourself be comfortable with the decisions that are going to be made because they're going to be made. Like, that's the harsh reality. This has been Jean-Luc and Hayden reporting for The Lion's Roar. Thanks for the story, Jean-Luc and Hayden. You know, clubs are always finding creative ways to raise money. Yep, just like the Intertribal Club. Oh, what are they up to? Well, they just finished their taco sale fundraiser. Here's Karen with the rest of the story. Last Saturday, the Intertribal Club held an Indian taco sale. They sold Indian tacos to fundraise for their club. Sabrina Balu, a member of the club, shares what an Indian taco is. Uh, Indian taco is uh, fry bread, beans, uh, some meat, uh, lettuce, cheese, tomato, and sometimes they put like other toppings on there, like sour cream or salsa. That's what we did. Club member Jocelyn Cowie and club sponsor Heidi Woods share how they helped organize and plan for the sale. Um, I helped plan it, like where we were gonna have it, and you know, like who needs to do what job and what ingredients do we need to get, and like advertising for it. Well, I had a lot of help from NAS, which is Native American Student Unit Student Services. We had families, some of them made the fried dough beforehand, and then we had it at 
a church here in town, a native church here in town. We use their facilities, and it just all came together. The Intertribal Club brings together and creates a space for the Indigenous community at LHS. For me, I found it helpful because at my previous school, there wasn't like any natives. I was like one of five in the whole entire high school. What I like about our club is that it brings like a really small population. We have here LHS of like indigenous kids and it gives us a chance to like get to know each other because you know you don't really see them that much like in class. The sale raised over $1,000 for the club. The money raised from the sale will go towards future activities and events for the club. We did really well so we put that we put the money back that we made into savings and we plan on making a trip at the end of the school year. More information about the club can be found on the club's Instagram. Look out for additional Indian taco sales by the club in the future. This has been Karen Middleton reporting for the Lions Roar. I just love it when clubs interact with the student body and invite the community to contribute. Well, you should hear about what the jazz band is doing next week. Jazz band? Yep. Next week there's a fundraiser Java and Jazz event in the band room. Here's more info from Milo and Ben. What are you doing on the evening of February 28, 2023? The only thing that I can think of that is worth your time that evening is Java and Jazz. Java and Jazz is a super chill event in which multiple jazz bands from around Lawrence perform for you in a benefit concert in order to raise money. It is genuinely a super cool concert, super chill and funky. Also, to celebrate 100 years of LHS band, Mike Jones has assembled the LHS All-Star Big Band. This band consists of past students, staff, and friends of the school who have all gone on to make great music. You won't want to miss it. It's going to be a lot of fun. You should go. February 28th, 7 p.m., LHS Band Room. Donation suggested. We will see you there. Well, that looks so fun. I totally want to go to that now. Well, you sure can. And if you didn't hear already, it's February 28th in the band room at 7 p.m. Donations are suggested. Awesome. Well, you'll definitely see me there. But you know where you weren't? Where? In the halls. We filmed a new Henry in the Halls the other day. Dang, I missed it. Yep, and it's a good one. Check out our newest Henry in the Halls 2v2 mini basketball edition. Today's Henry in the Halls, we're doing a mini basketball challenge. We got just a few rules, uh, no moving with the ball, don't go out of bounds, no sass, don't foul, because that's not nice, uh, uh, have fun, and, and, I'm, and I'm the ref. Let's go. Check it out. Shot blocked. Shot back. You need to put a ball. That's a goal. That's a goal. Oh my god. Okay. Almost fake pass. It's a good pass. <laughs> layup by Simeon. That's one point. Oh, 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 rough pass. Maybe passing to Isaac. No, no, that was good defense. Oh, Jonah with the uh, kind of hard dunk. For the high pass over. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. no. That was an aggressive layup, but okay. Play smart offense. Simi. You guys won. Mm -hmm. uh, three to one. That's a, the biggest blowout we've had so far. How do you guys feel? I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling good about it. I felt like at the beginning, we are having trouble gelling as a team, but once we got into it, we were doing good. Man, I, you guys played very impressively. Owen using his height and it hit the ceiling. Ah! Was that it? That was it. Congratulations on your uh, winning. Uh, how do you guys, like, what do you guys think made you win? Uh, the fact that we were taller than them. Huh. Um, if we're ignoring the height of it, I do <laughs> believe the endurance, because we are both cross country athletes. Oh yeah, that's so. true. Ian, Owen. Both tall, both cross-country athletes, and you think that gave you the upper hand? I think so. They had a lot of skill, and we were able to prevail in the end. One more point for them, and that's over. That's game 3-0. It's a sweep. How do you feel about your win? Oh, it was it was not even a question. We knew we were going to win from the start. Real. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. easy. I just love Henry in the halls. 
This man is what keeps me going. <laughs> this is Ben Henry in the halls. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the video, Logan and Arlo. And? Yeah, yeah, you too, Henry. Anyways, that's it for this episode. And sadly, this is the last Friday Lions Roar for a while. However, you can still catch Room 38 production live streams of events around the school. And check the LHS budget for CD reviews from Jonas. And one last thing. What? I heard your birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Hayden. Aw, oh, thank you, Henry. Now you can go to real jail. Wait, what? Remember, you can also stop by Room 308 to get a club orbit featured on our announcements. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a lion. lion.